What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. A lot of people always ask me, Truth, have you ever talked to Chief Keith? You interviewed a lot of people. Have you ever talked to Keith? Uh, never spoke with Keith. Never had any communication with Chief Keith. But I did have one interaction with him, I can tell you. I'm not sure if that's a real interaction. But people always ask me this. They know I'm a drill historian. I've been documenting the culture for a while. I done done tons of blogs about Chief Keith. He's one of the most blogged artists I ever blogged about. Uh, maybe slowed down recently because, you know, he don't be in the headlines as much. He's not as trendy as much. But, you know, I'm going to tell you this story because people always ask me about Keith. They want me to open up the notebook, so I'm going to dig in the notebook one more time. Uh... You know, I always used to send Chief Keith DMs. I used to add him on Instagram, send him mentions on Twitters. You know, that guy was so famous. He skyrocketed out of here. He never, ever responded. Never, ever had any communications with him. I used to wonder if he used to listen to my phone interviews and things like that. Um, I used to do so many blogs. I was wondering if it ever came across the screen. I knew he was aware of blogs because before he really got famous and popped off, he was doing Zach TVs and interviews and shit like that in the streets. So he's well, well, what's going on in the streets. Don't let nobody fool you on that. Keith watch everything. Don't let nobody get you on that shit. And I just spoke with a lot of people close to Chief Keith. I can tell you, though, it was one time where I actually sent Chief Keith a DM. Uh, actually, before we get into that, I sent him plenty of DMs, you know, throughout my career and shit. Never respond. Never look. Um, I sent him a DM about maybe eight months ago. I could be wrong. This could have been seven months ago. Could have been nine months ago. Could have been six months. I'm a little off with the time. You know, my mind be gone and shit. I'm not really a good person on time. I'm good with faces and moments. I'm not really good with the exact time and moment. But um, I sent him a DM. Um, I don't remember exactly what I sent him, but I sent him a snippet of an interview that I did. I'm not sure exactly uh, what was the interview, uh, exactly what the snippet was. Uh, I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but he looked, okay? He looked. You know how we on on Instagram, you 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 see. With somebody read the shit, it'd be like an eyeball and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Or red. I think it's a red now and shit like that. But I looked and he clearly read it. Okay. You feel me? Now, did he go to my YouTube video and watch it? I don't know. You know, I don't want to get on here and tell you any fake stories, any false stories. You know, me and Keith kicked it. We smoked the blunt and talked about all the drill shit that never happened. You know, Keith don't really shed light on a lot of people. One thing I can tell you about Keith is Keith, Keith walked away from the glow. You know, Keith don't really like the glow. He just with getting money and shit, video game and streaming, getting the bread. I haven't seen Chief Keith do anything for the clout in a long time, you know. And that's a long time. Yeah, we seen him get in some trouble when he put the hand, he put them knuckles. I remember we all seen him put the knuckles on Ramsey the God, Ramsey the Great. But besides that, we ain't really seen Chief Keith doing anything for the camera. He not a fame hogger. He not doing shit for the internet. He barely want to speak. So, you know, I think that's crazy that something I did made him actually look, you know. And I, I don't find that crazy, though, man, because I know Keith know about Truth Teller TV. Now, do Keith watch our shit? I'm not sure, but I know Chief Keith know about Truth Teller TV, and I'm going to tell you why. I was interviewing a guy in Chicago. Y'all going to say he messing with his nose, but I had a book in my nose. I know y'all answering every man. He messing with his nose. Nah, man, some weird shit in my nose. Look, but I'm going to tell you. I was interviewing a rapper, Nutso, close homie of Blood Money. Blood Money, love him like a brother, close family, close homie. While I was interviewing him, Tato called in the middle of the interview and let me know that he didn't want to be in the interview. Cut the part out where he called in the phone and shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to tell you what that conversation was about because that's police. I, ain't, I don't want to do nothing 12 as it is. But I was in the middle of an interview. Tato knew I was in the interview and he called and in the middle of the interview you know and he said a few words in the interview but at the end he let it be known that we had to cut cut that part out he didn't want to be in the interview and shit like that you know what i'm saying 
I'm not going to tell you what it was about. So, yeah, The Glow is well aware of Truth Teller TV. You know, one thing I can say about The Glow Gang, man, those guys are originators. Those guys are legends. I didn't get a vibe on the phone that those guys were irritated with Truth Teller TV or anything like that. Um, you know, these guys are aware of the culture. But, yeah, I was in the interview, and Tato called in the middle of the interview, man. I ain't going to tell you why he called, but I can't tell you he wasn't happy. He called kind of upset about something. And I ain't going to tell you what he was upset about. That's what I'm going to hold it on my own, and I'm going to keep that to myself. But it was a personal conversation, and I stayed out of it, and I didn't upload it in our interview. Because that would be police. But, you know, people always ask me about Keith. You know, Keith, one of the most blocked artists of all time. He one of the godfathers in this shit. I never had a conversation with him. I interviewed his baby mother, Lady Abnormal. And uh, to be honest with you, um, I'm not sure if he seen that interview, but I think he might have seen that interview. That was a little while ago. But yeah, I tell people this shit though. I never spoke with Keith, but I was one of the rare guys that was able to DM him, DM him, and I know he got millions of DMs, and he clicked mine and read it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the home of truth.